Ukraine. The BBC is given exclusive access to a team of elite Ukrainian snipers on night raids near Bakhmut, as the fighting in South Ukraine intensifies against Russian-backed forces. Ukraine's defense minister says attacks on Crimea will continue, and predicts possible NATO entry next year. Moscow attacks Zelensky's hometown after he said war had returned to Russia. Niger, pro-coup protesters in Niger shout, long live Putin as new leaders face calls to cede power. Mohamed Bazoum meets Chad's president, as Niger's junta says France is planning military intervention. Pakistan, the death toll from a blast at a rally in Balochistan province rises to 54, including 23 children, as Islamic State claims responsibility. Pakistan and China inked six deals to expedite cooperation on the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPC, project. China, at least 20 people are dead and 27 missing in floods surrounding Beijing, as the heaviest rain in a decade washes away roads and cars. A mystery cylinder that washed up on an Australian beach is identified as Indian space debris by officials. China curbs drone exports over national security concerns. Crowds flock to a Chinese zoo after a video of a human in a costume bear goes viral. Lebanon, Lebanon's central bank chief Riyad Salame steps down amid allegations of embezzlement and mismanagement of the country's economy. Nine people are killed in clashes between rival factions at Ain El Hilwa refugee camp in southern Lebanon. Israel, most Israelis oppose the court overhaul that would limit the power of the Supreme Court, but a minority is backing Netanyahu to the hilt. Netanyahu won't commit to abiding by ruling if Supreme Court blocks controversial law. Israel's judicial overhaul sparks military crisis as number of refusing reservists grows. Afghanistan, the Taliban burned immoral musical instruments at Afghanistan's National Institute of Music, which was founded by Ahmad Sarmast, who likened the move to cultural genocide. The founder of Afghanistan's National Institute of Music likened the move to cultural genocide. Sudan, civilian suffering continues unabated in war-ravaged Sudan as bombs have been raining down for days on homes and civilian neighborhoods in Nyala, the capital of South Darfur state and Sudan's second biggest city. In the south of the capital Khartoum, residents say paramilitary RSF forces have ordered hundreds of people to leave their homes, declaring the Jabra neighborhood a military zone where civilians should not be. India, women in sex assault video seek India top court help after a video showing them being molested by a group of men in Assam state went viral on social media. A former childcare worker is charged with over 1,600 counts of abuse in Australia, after allegedly sexually assaulting children at a daycare center in Sydney between 2014 and 2018. Space, a planet's atmosphere is blasted away by a star and Hubble captures it, in a rare phenomenon known as atmospheric erosion.